G'day guys, my name's Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. And in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play the acoustic version of My Heroine by Silverstein. Now, if you want to master chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you really want to improve your guitar, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. For the basics, you'll need your guitar in standard tuning and you won't need a capo. The guitar I'm playing here today is a Cole Clark Angel 2 in Californian Redwood. I'll teach you how to play all the parts of this song, including the picking riff, but I'll also teach you easier chords if that picking riff is too difficult for you. All right, so let's jump into the intro riff, and your ring finger will be on the 10th fret of the 5th string, and your middle finger on the 9th fret of the 4th string. Let's break this riff up into chunks. So for this first position, we have four notes to begin with. We're going to pluck the 6th, 4th, 5th, and then the 3rd with a down, up, down, up motion. And that last note gets held out a little bit. And then for our next chunk of notes, we're going to start with the fifth string, and then you lift your middle finger and hit the fourth string. And then your index finger comes down to the eighth fret of the sixth string, and we're going to hit that. So just three notes there, down, up, down. And so far for our first two sections. For our next set of three notes, we stay in this shape and we're going to pluck the fourth, fifth, and third strings with an up, down, up. And so far. For our next set of notes, we're gonna pluck the fifth string fourth string and as you hit that fourth string we'll move into our next position which is the same as our first position but just up one string so ring on the 10th fret and middle on the 9th fret and we're going to hit that sixth string so those three notes and then we'll stay on this shape for our next set of three notes we'll pluck the fourth fifth and third strings like that. And our next chunk of three notes will be fifth, fourth, third with a down, down, up. We do that twice. And then we end with fifth and fourth strings with a down, up. So to recap, there's only really three chord shapes here. Our first one looks like this, our second one looks like this, and then our third one looks like this but we need to break up the picking up into certain chunks. So just follow along in the tab. And all together, it will sound like this. I've got the suggested picking direction up in the tab as well. So be sure to follow that. Now, if that verse picking is too difficult for you, then there are easy chords to play this verse. It's just E minor, C, and D. So the easy verse would just sound like this. The drugs begin to peak A smile of joy arrives in me Something like that. All right, next let's get to the pre-chorus riff. And we're going to start our first shape based off a C power chord. So it's similar to what we had in the verse riff. So just like that, we're going to pluck 6th, 5th, 6th, 4th, and then go 6th, 5th, 6th, 5th. That's our picking pattern that we'll use for the rest of this pre-chorus riff. So 6th, 5th, 6th, 4th, 6th, 5th, 6th, 5th. And you're just going to constantly do a down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, picking motion. For our next position, keep your ring finger where it is. Your middle comes onto the 10th fret of the 6th string. Play the exact same picking pattern. 
for our next position, ring on the 12th fret of the 6th, index on the 10th fret of the 5th, apply the exact same picking pattern. And then for our final position, index bars across the 10th fret of the 6th and 5th strings, and your pinky will hit the 12th fret of the 4th string. And we're going to apply that for a picking pattern. And in total, the pre-chorus riff just sounds like this. And you just repeat that over and over. Now again, if that pre-chorus picking is too difficult for you, there are easy chords. We can just play four chords, C, D, E minor, and D for the pre-chorus, which sounds like this. So that's the easier way if the picking is too difficult for you. All right, let's move on to the break, which is really easy. There's just four chords here. We have E minor, C, and then D, but we're gonna play the D like this. So your index finger will bar the second fret of the third, second, and first strings and middle finger just on the third fret of the second string. And that's how we're gonna play our D because we're gonna need it in the riff of this chord. And I'll explain what I mean in a second. So for each of these chords, we're going to use a strumming pattern that goes like this. Down, 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 up. So once for each chord. For the last D though, we'll have this riff, where on the first down strum of that strumming pattern, our ring finger will actually come down onto the third fret of this first string. We'll lift it for the second down strum, and then for the third down strum, your pinky comes onto the fifth fret of the first string. And then you lift it for the rest of the strumming pattern. So that final D. And in total for this break, If you don't want to play that riff, that's fine as well. And then you can use a regular D chord shape in that case. Let's move on to the chorus, which has four lines of chords. We're going to start with the C, then D, then E minor, and then E minor seven. So you're going to take your ring and pinky and put them on the third frets of the first and second string. Now you'll see two chords within a set of brackets, and that means that both those chords are within one strumming pattern. Our strumming pattern will change here. It will be down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And the point at which we'll change chords will be on the highlighted up strum. So for example, for the C to the D. Down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And the same will apply to the E minor to the E minor seven. Our next line of chords is almost identical, except for the last chord we play a G instead of an E minor seven. The third line of chords is the same as the first line of chords. And then we get to the fourth line of chords, which is a C chord for one full strumming pattern. So there's no change in chords for this strumming pattern. And then we go to a D chord, which has its own unique strumming pattern, which goes down, 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 down. It just sort of builds up. So in total, the chorus will sound like this. final section of this song we need to learn is the bridge and it's just one line of chords which is really nice and easy. We have a G chord, then a B7, 
then an E minor, D, and C. Now for the first two chords and the last chord, we have the same strumming pattern, which goes like this. Up, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 down. So you'll play that for the G, B7, and C. But for the E minor and the D, those chords have a shorter strumming pattern that go up, up, down, down, down. So when we put that all together, it'll sound like this. Up, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, up, down, down. The second time round you play it though, the E minor, D and C are just strummed once. They don't actually have strumming patterns. So that's everything you need to learn to play this song. So now I'll be playing through the song in its entirety. I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. A big thanks to my friend and artist by the name of Tugler for lending his awesome vocals for this song. If you want to check out his YouTube channel, there's a link in the description below. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to to practice, play along to and see how you go.
Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to take your guitar to the next level, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. Be sure to hit that like button, hit subscribe, and click the little notification bell as well so that you don't miss out on my updates. Be sure to leave your thoughts, comments, questions, and requests down below, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.